So I've been with the RFU now for nine years, initially as uh, the assistant fitness coach um, with the senior side and then became the, the senior fitness coach in 2006. Prior to that I had 12 years with British Athletics, working with a range of athletes from throwers to sprinters to jumpers, uh, all again working at the elite level. It's unavoidably important, in other words, the guys don't make it to international level without being fit enough, without being strong enough, powerful enough, without being, having the endurance to cope with the rigours of international rugby and they know it. We hit them pretty hard, um, they expect it. So we're looking to try and make, certainly in pre-season, as many strength, um, speed, uh, speed and strength games that we possibly can. And then as we then progress through the pre-season, we'll try and add the endurance quality to this as well. So have you made yourself quicker? Yes. Hopefully have you made yourself stronger? Yes. But can you repeat explosive, fit, you know, quick, strong movements over and over and over again? Because um, that's essentially what the game requires. So we'll have the guys training anything up to five times a day at times, uh, sometimes down to twice a day. On varying days through the week, they'll probably train for five days in the week. Um, and pre-season is only about 10 weeks long. They get up pretty early. Uh, first session will be seven o'clock and that'll be um, kind of prehabilitation session. So they're trying to uh, tighten the screws in the body. All those, the, the, the motor control movements that aren't quite right. Um, movements that'll make the physios happy that they're, they're moving the body pretty well. But the low load activity, that takes about 30 minutes. They'll do that. Then they'll go back, then they'll have breakfast. Um, and then they'll start the first hard session of the day about 10 o'clock. They'll have three sessions then running concurrently, so 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, with a, a refuel and then lunch uh, at 1 o'clock. Normally a rest through the afternoon, give them some sleep and time to recover, and then we bring them out again, and we whop them as hard as we can at about 4.30 for about an hour. And that's the fifth and final session of the day. Recovery is huge. Um, it, it, it is, if anyone believes, the super compensation model of athletic development. So it's when you rest is essentially when you grow, when you repair, when all your, your training gains are realised. So helping someone recover is, is vitally important. And if they're going to train five times a day, absolutely, they need to be ready for every session. Otherwise, you obviously you don't perform as well as you could or you increase your risk of injury. It does a couple of things really. I guess it helps you realise your training gains. If you're, if you're trying to get stronger, if you're trying to get bigger, you do need more protein, you need the right types of protein. So it's vital that in the right, at the right timings around that session, you're ingesting that protein. So there's an obvious example. If you're training five times a day, that's a massive calorie expenditure. You need the right kind of fuels to get you through the training as well. So that's another example of why it's important. Pre-season is also in the summer. So keeping yourself hydrated is also key. They've got a great reputation, providing a great range of products, which are known to be effective. They've worked with some of our best players for a long time, so they've got a proven track record. Also, their, their safety record in sports is also, um, is also extremely good, and that's vitally important to us as well. So there's a broad range of reasons why they're a great company for us to work with. It's still the same principles. If you're trying to get stronger, you need to lift heavy weights. You still need to ingest protein. You might not you know, ha have the ability to um, get, get, uh, do the same kind of training or get the same broad range of supplements, but you can still stick to the basics. You can still get a decent protein supplement. You can still train your two or three times a week. And even with that, the average guy will, will make gains. Um, you can stick to a good nutrition program as well. You can stay hydrated. It's all simple stuff, but it's exactly the same principles that the elite athlete will, will stick to as well. I'm a big fan of the Olympic lifts. I think for doing, you know, if you want to get more powerful, um, they're unavoidable in how good they are. So I really like the power clean. Uh, you've got to train your legs if you're involved in any sport. Um, and the granddaddy of those exercises is the squat, that would be my second one. Um, and although a lot of people don't like the exercise, um, the fact that it's done by so many people so regularly in so many sports, I guess you'd have to throw the bench press in there as well as, as one that keeps most guys happy in terms of what it does to their upper body. Mm -hmm.